Okay, I got out these boxes. I forgot how many I have. I've had. I gotta find my little April one. I don't know where it is. Okay, so I'm gonna show you these boxes. These are not in any order. I just grabbed them. And so I want to do a giveaway. I figured, I just found out that they, I bought two of these on accident. I want to do, once I reach a thousand members, which I'm five members away or subscribers away, I want to give, I want to give this away. I got to figure out how to do a giveaway, do a spinning and do that. And, uh, but once I do, um, so if you want to be entered into this, comment pumpkin. So, uh, comment pumpkin or, uh, say something, put a, something in your comment about pumpkins, um, or pumpkins or fall, do pumpkins, do pumpkins. I'm going to try, I'm going to try this. I hope I can figure it out, but I have two of these and I would like to do a giveaway, um, to y'all. And, um, you have to be a subscriber. I've seen somebody elsewhere, um, to be entered in, you have to have your, your subscriber list where I can see it, I guess, to see it. Make sure you're a subscriber. Um, so you have to be a subscriber. Um, of course, you're 18 and older. Um, I don't know. Let me look into it. Don't, don't comment anything like that right now. Let me look into it, and then we, I'll do a video about this. But I'm going to look into it because I've not done this and I, got, I need to look at the rules and I need to do all that. So don't worry about commenting under anything underneath that right now. Let me figure it out. But I do plan on doing a giveaway for this. So just a heads up. Okay. So the first one I have on top, I mean, I have a stack. It's, it's going to be, there are Rally Blake Good Pillow Projects and it is this one. And it, it includes, like, the fabric for, they are dusty, the fabric for pillow top, fabric for pillow backing, bat binding pattern, and instructions. And they come in, like, a little, nice little magnetic box. So, I have my instructions. And I think this, yeah, this is just all piecing and then all my fabrics. My first one was a paper piecing one, but I don't think this one is. No. So there is that one. I'm going to open and show y'all all of them. Just to let y'all know. And I don't think they're doing this anymore. I just want to show y'all. If y'all have any of these, let me know. I kind of dust them off. They're back on my shelf and close to where my AC is. They're dusty. The next one is going to it's going to be a March. So I guess this one would be July. This one's going to be March. With the little, uh, yeah, it's March. It has it right here on the back. The April one is the one I did, the little raindrops. I gotta find that for y'all. And the pumpkin is, gonna, is supposed to be November. So, yeah, you got the instructions. I have all of the fabric. And I have the backing. And I'm wondering if this is an applique. This one is by Christopher Thomas. This other, the, the 4th of July one is Amy Smart. So yes, it is an applique. You do have an applique template. So there is marches. This is October's. I think they all include the fabric for the top, the backing, and the binding, and the pat and the instructions, of course. And they're all 20 by 20. So here is October. It will be applied to, and it's by J. Lecker Frisch. 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 And it's got a little great box. They're navy blue, gray, yellow, and red. So here is the instructions. Here is this. I don't know what, oh, let me open this up. So these are the templates. Yeah, so you have your applique templates. You 
You got your cat, your moon, and your fence. And then, of course, you have your, I guess it's your backing. And then all of your fabric. This is your binding right here. So. And now having this channel with y'all on here is giving me a reason, a reason to do this. I'm, I gotta figure out how to do, like I said, do the giveaway. Cause I'm not sure how to do all of that. And I'm, I wanna be fair. I've seen a few, a few people do it and I wanna be able to do it. This is gonna be January. And I may start these soon. It may start maybe in August. I may start things in August and then just go every month. But I don't think I make, I think I do wall hangings. I think that's what I do with my last one. So there's a snowflake. And it's just, so I guess this is gonna be, maybe this is gonna be the backing here. Don't tell. Let me look. Yeah, the dot, the pokey dot is this one right here. It's going to be the backing. So there's that. The next one, I mean, I gotta look and see what the next one is. March, no, June. June. Oh, they get dusty. So this is going to be June. This has a petal and center template. So there is the pattern. And then all my little fabric. Pinks and yellows are just so cute. This one is going to be May for Mother's Day. Yeah, this is May's. And see, this one comes in a... Um, I'm putting this on the wrong way. Whoops. Should be going on this way. So this one comes in a yellow box. May's comes in a red box. And it's a wreath and it says mother in it. Have your pattern. You have your template. It says, see that? says mother, mom, mom, and mommy. Mommy. So there's that, your little applique template. And then your background, your backing, and then all of your, where all your little flowers. This is going to be August, I believe, with the apples. No, September. So it's September. And y'all, I don't have y'all pointing down here on my table because I've got a lot of other stuff on here. And so I just, I 
bring it because I have I've had people say something about, you know like why don't you point it down it's because I have so much and if I have a pattern open I don't want y'all seeing the because I'm not you you're not supposed to see you know the cutting and all that so here is September and it's got the red box trying to see if I don't know if there's any more paper piecings in here or not but there's the pattern and then you have the back oh the brown for the stem and then all this is a tone yeah this is a tone on tone These are so cute. Y'all have to let me know if y'all have done any of these. You see, when I got these, I had it really, I mean, I, it was a year or two, and I had, I had so I really started so I'd only been sewing for maybe a couple years, and not even as much as I am now. So, um, I had never applied before, nothing like that. Oh, these are dusty. I'm going to have to put them back over there because I have nowhere else to put these things. Okay, so this is August. And this comes in a yellow box. You got your pattern. And then all your fabric. I love these colors. The pink polka dot... Is also is in the star, but it's also your um, binding. Okay, you got three more left. I want to say April's came in a yellow box. I think the little April showers. And that was that was paper piece, piecing. So here is the here is the November one with the pumpkin. These are twenty twenty, so they're four years old. There's the pattern, and then all the fabric. He's got me. brown for the I was kind of hoping there was some more paper PC in here but there's not right? not none of the ones I've already so I have three six nine eleven of these things one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, actually twelve. So I have double. This is gonna be February. XO XO. And then just your fabric. One more, and this was the Christmas one. And of course, it's in a red box. So I may put these in order and then start grabbing them when I need them. This is Christmas, isn't that so cute? I love it. You have your fabric, I meant your pattern. Applique layout. Trace individual shapes into feasible web from back from the back side on this page. So there is that. 
this I've never done anything like this before honestly so this is going to be a challenge for me and then of course all your fabric okay oh and there's some hold up I wonder if this is a fusible this is something hold on because that's not regular cotton fabric I'm gonna put this in there I don't know what that is. It'll be. Let me look at my pattern. Hold on. Let y'all know what this is. Let me know if any of y'all have any of this. It's woven wool. What you put the stop. I don't know what you put the woven wool in for. Can I can I go jump on the trampoline? No, because we are going to go to Walmart? To, no, to the dollar store here in a minute. I need to see what time Dollar General or Dollar. Damn, I can't wait. Oh, it's for the scallop trim. <laughs> you didn't know okay, that. it's for the trim right here. That's what that's for. Okay. So yeah. So there's that. This one, I want to do this one. It makes me a little nervous because I've never done anything like that. So I'm really going to have to look. You know, look at all of these. I'll show y'all. It's crazy. And I can't believe that I've not done them. But like I said, when I, 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 I wanted to do them, I had high ambition when I had signed up for these why is it so dark they got dark anyways I had high ambitions for these when I first bought them and I got intimidated because like I said I'd only been sewing about you know maybe a year and I hadn't sewn as much as I have now so um I had high ambitions but you know so um Anyways, I am hoping that I can get these, start getting these knocked out. I want to, hold on, let me put these in order. October, we're September. September, here's August. Where's July? That was the first one I showed y'all July. June. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's May? Here's May. And this one, I may not put Mother in that middle of that. I, I don't think I'm going to put Mother. I may put another, I may put another flower or I may do something else. I may not, I'm probably not going to put Mother. But May, April, I have April, March, and then February and January. Okay. My nose, I just had my nose trouble. A little bit of You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. Okay. So, there are my little pillow kits. Let me know if y'all did these when they were out. Um, and if so, uh, hopefully you're on my that Facebook group so you can show them. I want to do these. I may try to start in August. Because August is which one? May, June, July, August. It's that real pretty. Yeah, I may start August because that's real pretty. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if I want to do a pillow. I might do a pillow. I don't know. It's like I want to do pillows, but I'm afraid they're going to get ruined. So, I don't know. Um, I'm bummed that no more of them are wall hangings. I was kind of, or not wall hangings, paper piecing. I was hoping they were, but they're not. That's okay because I'm going to do the ones low battery. I'm going to do the ones for shabby fabrics and do those. So I may go ahead and do these as pillows. I've never done a pillow. I've got to make my mom one. So, um, 
not one of these, but one out of fabric that I made her a quilt out of. So I got to figure out how to do that with the fabric I have. I may have, I'm probably going to have to order more fabric of that batik that I used on hers. It's real pretty, almost like watercolor. I do not have that in any of my stuff. It's a certain, um, let me show y'all. I, I use the Elizabeth, Elizabeth something. I use this collection. And it's, if y'all have seen my Facebook group, if y'all are on there, y'all have seen the quilt. It was the one that I had made in um, memory of my sister. It was what to benefit that helped um, battered and abused women. Because if, I'm not, I don't know if I've said, but my sister was a victim of domestic violence. And she lost her life at the hands of her husband. I don't even like calling him that because a real man wouldn't lay his hands on his wife. He'd protect her the way God says my husband's was protector, but he lost his, uh, or she lost her life December 27th, 2016. And they have a benefit. There's a woman's shelter. And, um, so they do a benefit every year, wine and cheese gala, or a wine and, wine and cheese gala. It's a something gala. And, uh, they asked me if I wanted to do a quilt. So I donated one in honor, in a memory of my sister. I kind of topped up something and, um, I typed up something and I even put a tag on there and it said in memory, in loving memory of Alicia, Alicia Weaver. And, um, I don't like putting Scott on the end of her name because it's just, ugh. anyways, um, but she, uh, I put it in there and then this last year they did it again and the people that, uh, they do it every November. So the people that bought or bid it on it and won in November of 2022 brought it back this last November and they want to do it they read her story again and they're bidding it off like they'll have it for a year but they want her story to be told every year and bid it and you know it go to, to, to a different family every year they started a tradition and I was like so thankful and it it brought over the first time it was over a thousand dollars and this last year I want to say two thousand maybe I don't know and not that it's my work's worth that, but the just the meaning behind it is what means a lot. But anyway, so I did a quilt like this, and I did the bride's dream, and it was this fabric, the Elizabeth, because purple stands for um, it's domestic violence awareness, so purple is. And I did a petite. It has this really dark, dark purple, but it's almost like a watercolor. And I used that on the backing and then on the binding, and it was gorgeous. So I've got to find some of that fabric. And I'm going to use, I've got, I thought I had more than four blocks, but I'm only seeing four blocks right now. But I have all of this from the border from both those quilts. So I got to figure out something to piece together. Um, I'll put, I'll, I'm going to do these together. But I'm also going to put these in there too to kind of tie everything together. I got to figure out how I'm going to do it, what I'm going to do. I thought I had more fabric and I, I might have it somewhere. I may just have to really dig. But um, yeah, I have, have these little squares and I probably won't use them. They're just like, I may keep these for my stash because they're like a tone on tone, like a low volume. Um, but I got to make her, she asked me to make her a pillow. She's like, I'll pay you. You ain't going to pay me, mom. But um, I'm going to make her a pillow to go on her bedding. I said, I only have enough fabric for one. And I don't think I can find this fabric anymore. So um, unless I can find a few fat quarters, I might. Um, like if she wants to buy the fabric, that's fine. But uh, like for the fat quarter. But um, if I can find, because they have it in flannel. It's called Elizabeth. Elizabeth, a flower house collection. So I'm going to try to maybe see if I can find any more, um, just a few fat quarters, just maybe, maybe five, six, whatever, however many they have for, and then find the back, try to find the backing for this that puts in that deep, deep purple. Cause that deep purple, that boutique really brought out the purple, the dark purple in here is so pretty. So if you haven't yet, um, head on over there cause there is a picture of that quilt. And uh, like I said, I typed something up for them to read and everything. So 
but I gotta make my mom a pillow of that and I've never made a pillow. <laughs> so, um, Moody Girls, I think her name is, love watching her. She's so, if you've watched her or not, you ought to head on over. I love, I found her, I don't know how long ago and I love watching her, but she did a pillow and I've kind of um, seen her stuff. And there's another lady on here that has a channel. Her name is, her name's Elizabeth, but I can't remember her her channel name. And um, if I can think of it, I'll, I'm gonna write it down that way next time y'all can head on over there because she's doing some really cute stuff too. I try to watch her when I can, but she's another one of my subscribers. And um, she's, I think she's on, yeah, she's on the Facebook page. But uh, I've watched some of her videos, and I like she, I like watching her so too. She seems like a really down to earth t person too. So, anyways, um, didn't mean to get off on all that by my sister, but I gotta look. I'm trying to figure out how to do a, a pillow with what I have. And I know, like on the Moody Girls, she just did some rant, not random, but did some backing on the back of her, um, like on the inside, and it. It was yellow and it kind of went, but it didn't. But nobody was going to see it. So, it's probably what I'm going to do. Find something that's similar in color, but not going to worry about too much about... I got some in my eye about it um, matching perfectly. So, um, anyways. So, hang on with me for a giveaway. Because I do want to get, give away one of these quilts. Or not quilts. One of these pillow kits. I'll get the um, October or the November with the little pumpkin. Um, I got to figure out how to do the giveaway, the rules, and have to do the little spinny thing to where when y'all comment a certain word, it alerts whoever wants to do it. Because I know I'll, you have to be in a subscriber. Um, I've seen a couple of people where you have your subscriber list public to where I can make sure or they can make sure that you are really a subscriber. And then you put, um, once you put... A certain word in the comments it picks that what that app or whatever it is picks that up and then does a random little spin wheel thing and pick somebody so um, I'd like to do that for y'all because I know this earlier I was like five subscribers away from a thousand thank y'all so much I'm humbled I'm blown away and in disbelief because I never thought I'd have this many subscribers I'm truly shocked. So thank y'all so much. And thank you for your kind words about y'all like my channel, y'all. Um, and y'all like watching me and all that. It means a lot to me. Um, I'm very, you kind of see what you, you know, you get what you see. And I'm not fancy. I just started doing this because it was fun. And I thought, hey, why not do it? Never did I think I would have this many subscribers three months later. So, um, I'm very humbled and thank you for, thank y'all so much for that. I mean, it just makes me feel special. So, um, anyways, so let me try to start kind of digging. It may be a, a little bit before I am able to give it away, but I'm going to, cause I, wrong, I don't need to, I don't. And, uh, I want to do it before fall though. That way y'all have time to do it. So, um, anyways, so let me know if y'all have done any of these little, um, before I hit myself in the face with these, um, let me know if y'all have done any of these when they came out, because the tag says 2020, so I don't know if they're 2020 or 2021, but the tag says Riley Blake, 2020 Riley Blake, so, um, let me know if y'all have done these, and if you did, if you enjoyed them, if you did all of them, if you did one of them, let me know. And, um, I will get back with y'all for the, um, the drawing. I will do a video specifically to let y'all know the rules, what to put, all of that. It will be, and it'll say drawing, um, the Riley Blake pillow drawing information or something like that. So it will be a video just for that. So anyways, and if y'all have any advice on, because like I said, I've never made a pillow. So if y'all have any advice on, on pillows, let me know. Because I'm going to try to use everything I have. I, like I said, I may try to see if I can find. Because they have this in flannel, but I don't want flannel. This is just cotton. I'm going to try to see if I can at least find a four 
um, package of fat quarter bundle. That way it shouldn't be too much and I can kind of, I want more darkness in here and there's not a lot of dark and there's not a lot of green. So I want to try to find a fat quarter bundle that I can put with this. I kind of, you know, and I may cut them up to the, um, to do the bride's dream blocks. I may, um, do some more of those because I already have four of those blocks done. So, you know, but let me know if you have any advice. I would could really, I'd really appreciate it. I've never, like I said, I've never made a pillow before. Um, I really just started sewing the last year and a half, two years, really started sewing like I am now. So I've come a long way, but I still have it a long way to go. Anyways, I will shut up now because my little one is wanting to go to the dollar store so she can start getting stuff for camp. So anyways, y'all have a wonderful evening and this will probably be my last video of this tonight unless I start on something else. Who knows, I may get a hair at my honey and you know, decide to do another video. So um, anyways, y'all have a wonderful evening and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye y'all.